my ancestors were servants, servants of the Medici family. The Medicis were one of the most powerful families in all of Italy. Centuries later, you can still see their mark, their family seal woven into the landmarks of the city. My ancestors were housekeepers, maids, groundsmen, all the way through the Renaissance until the end of their reign with Anna Maria Luisa de' Medici in 1743. I just, I love learning about the Renaissance. Did you know that the birthplace of the Renaissance is Florence? Obviously, this was because of the Medicis. They funded the great works of Brunelleschi, Fra Angelico, Donatello, and even Botticelli. My favorite paintings being Primavera and The Birth of Venus. Both of those reside in the Uffizi, which is actually right over there. Eventually, the Renaissance just spanned all across Europe. And it was just such a transformative time, which was known for just scandal, exile, and betrayal. But this was just like the normal way of life for the Florentine. Yeah. It was also the time of the magnificent Da Vinci, who was absolutely notorious for not finishing the majority of his inventions, like his version of the helicopter, the adoration of the Magi painting, and various sketches of human and animal anatomy. Dabbling into a myriad of diverse studies is the epitome of a true Renaissance man, a polymath who is years ahead of his time. The Medicis obviously recognized this and they famously bankrolled his first major product project, and they continue to be his patron for the next seven years. It's fascinating how much the Medici's impacted Western society, and you can still feel this to this day, and how influential they were with the movement of the Renaissance. Absolutely spectacular. This journey has led me here, to Florence, in search of something. I'm looking for a family heirloom, a lost pendant that went missing after my grandmother passed. It was given to her by Anna Maria Luisa de Medici. Scusi, signorina, mi dispiace. I guess I was in a daydream. Are you okay? I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I'm okay. I'm Nico. Nico De Luca. Mia. Um, my family bakery is just around the corner. You look like you could use a break from all your sightseeing. Would you like to yeah. accompany me? Maybe um, you can get some free sweet, uh, famous tiramisu. I, it's really the least I could do, really. I guess it's not the worst idea. Perfecto. Should we go? <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I usually don't bump into people and try to get them to my family bakery. You know? <laughs> but like, it's just, it, it, it was really the least I could do. Don't worry, I'm okay. Okay, nice to meet you though. Um, what brings you, what brings you to Florence? Um, I guess my family. Oh, you have fa family in, in, in Florence? Well, I, I had family in Florence. They don't live here anymore.
You know, tiramisu is known as the Tuscan trifle. It, it appears in the 1960s. Many like to think that the recipe originated from the dessert, dolce for Mmm. The lady fingers are to die for. We like to make dessert with love. Mm. So what brings you to Florence? Um, I'm here on a mission. Are you at liberty to tell me of this mission? Uh, can I trust you with my family secret? In 30 years, I have not once disclosed my family secret recipe of our famous tiramisu. I, I guess I could probably trust you with it. Um, one of our family heirlooms went missing and the search for it has led me to Florence. What kind of happened? Well, it's, it's like a pendant which was given in my family from generation to generation. It was given to my grandmother Maria by Anna Luisa Maria de Medici. The last dimension? Precisely. And I just, I don't know, I, I feel like it just holds this knowledge of my ancestors and I don't want it to get lost. I, it sounds, it's, I, I don't know, it's um, stupid. Like, not, not at all, yeah. it's a beautiful mission. Something about it is so rich and full with history. Yeah? Bad yeah. Bad. I, I just don't want it to die out. I don't want this knowledge to die out with my generation. So I'm here just, I don't know, looking for the clues. What are you going to search? Well, the clues are in here. This is my grandmother, Maria, my 11th grandmother, actually. This is her journal. And let yep. me open it up for you. I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck on this. I don't know. What do you it's think? In it's in Italian. Yeah. Se il cielo dovesse mai perdersi sarà ritrovato dove l'acqua scorre liberamente e costantemente, la pietra sovrasta tutto con intricati incisioni di Nettuno. The direct translation in English is if the pendant is ever lost, it shall be found where the water flows uh, freely and constant and stone towers above it all with intricate carvings of Neptune. The fountain of Neptune! You think? Yeah! I mean, it's Piazza della Signora, right? Yeah, only way to I find was, out. We, I was we, just we have there. to go there right okay. away. Ciao, mamma, scusa. Hey, let's go. Uh, we have some places to be. Ciao. Yeah. Okay. There's this time travel looking device. What? You know, I know how it sounds, but my father was a quantum physicist and he gave me this for my 20th birthday. It lets you see in the future and even in the past. And if a person has this device at the same time, you can even make quantum calls. 
whether that's into the future or into the past. And well, he gave one of these devices to my grandmother, Maria. It's like FaceTime, but we are quantum leap. Yes, I, but, I know how it sounds. What did you think of this earlier? Because I don't speak Italian and um, like I tried to call her, but every attempt just failed miserably. Can you travel to the past? I mean, you can, but it's forbidden. Only people with special clearance can. Like your dad? Yeah. Are you in some kind of secret society? Yeah. Um, crusaders for him. No, it's serious. I know it sounds like... Come on, let's give it a try. Show me. Okay. Hi, Grandmama. It's me, Mia, from the US. I'm your 11 granddaughter. Do you remember me? Si. Mi ricordo di te, cara ragazza. I've arrived in Florence and I've made this new Italian friend. Say hi. Ciao. Um, and I'm hoping that together we can find the location of the pendant. I'm here at the Fent Fontana del Nettuno, like you wrote in your journal. Fontana del Nettuno. Sapete dove possiamo trovare il pendolo? È perduto, siamo alla Fontana del Nettuno, come ha notato nel diario. Devi andare nel profondo della tua anima e connetterti a tutti i tuoi antenati nel nostro sangue. Li troverai le risposte che stai cercando. Ti amo. She says you must go uh, deep within your soul and connect with all the ans your ancestors within your blood and then you will find the answers you're looking for. I love you. I know, I know. You know, I didn't want to say anything earlier, but like this was given to me by my grandfather, whose family served the Medici also throughout history. I think it's possible we belong together, you know, Dolce Mia.